The XP80 contains 640 basic sound configurations called patches, and these are the sounds that you would use in performance. Well, to access these sounds, we first need to move to the patch mode. So, in this section here, you see a button marked patch. Press it just once, and the display will change. We're now in the patch mode, and we know this because, firstly, the patch light is lit, and in the top left-hand corner of the display, we see patch. Now, in bold, in the display, we see the patch name. In this case, user001, and the name of the patch is West Coast. And if you play the keyboard now, you should hear sound directly. OK, well, we can move through the various patches, just rotating the dial here. And as I do so, you see the patch name change. Now, these 640 patches are divided up into five different groups. There's the user group, there are preset groups A, B, C, and also a special general MIDI group. In each group, there is 128 different patches. Now, preset groups A, B, and C are, as the name would suggest, factory presets which cannot be overwritten. Those sounds are there and they will never be changed. It is possible to modify them and store them elsewhere. And in fact, where you would store your own modifications is in the user set. So the user patches, 1 to 1 to 8, can be overwritten, rewritten if you like, or edited to your heart's content. The general MIDI bank is a special bank, which is a collection of sounds that adhere to the general MIDI standard. So if you're using general MIDI files on disk or externally via MIDI, the GM sound set will be automatically called up. So for the time being, let's not worry too much about the GM sounds. Okay, well each patch can be further broken down into its component parts. Each patch can be made from up to four tones, and the tones are the most fundamental building blocks of sound within the XP80. Each tone is a discrete waveform, if you like, a digital sample, and we can further select those waveforms when we're editing the patch.